Here's an illusion that dates back to the early 1900s. There are photos of Houdini's contemporaries like Howard Thurston performing the original version of this classic trick. The magician shows us an oddly shaped cabinet. He walks around to give us the view from all sides. It looks just large enough to contain a human being. The magician calls in his beautiful assistants and one of them hands him a very sharp steel blade. Seems solid enough. Now for another. Smaller, but just as sharp, solid, and menacing. She'll save them for later use. The magician gets some help opening the cabinet. We can pretty much imagine what's going to happen next. Well, there's a switch. Instead of one of the girls, the magician has climbed inside. An assistant secures his neck with a steel strap. Next, a metal bar is lowered and two steel plates secure his legs. They really don't want him to escape. The doors in front of his head are closed, along with the main doors of the cabinet. The assistants now rotate the box so that we can see that the magician has not sneaked out through the back. Next, the girl with the sharp blade slides the smaller one into the cabinet at neck height, separating the magician's head from the rest of his body. There's a painful razor burn. Now for the large blade. She slides it into the box the magician's waist. After a bit of a struggle. That's one way to reduce your metal. No pain, no gain. We can still see his legs, so we know he hasn't escaped from the cabinet or from serious injury. Yep, there's his head. But his torso has completely vanished. The girls open the doors on each side, and now the back. Gone. His legs are still there, no middle. Then his head. Looks like only part of him got out in time. But where did he go? And is the rest coming back? The doors are closed back up again so we don't have to look at this ghoulish mess. Now the blades are removed. First, the big one. Then the one at his neck. She's good at this. The cabinet goes for another spin so we can see that there is nothing tricky going on in the back. Let's look inside. There's his head. And his middle is returned. The metal fasteners are removed and the magician steps out. Still alive and showing no ill effects. Just like magic. But you know there's a secret. So, how did the magician survive one sharp blade through his neck, one through his gut, and his torso vanishing into the ether? Here are the secrets. First, the magician steps into the cabinet and the doors are closed. Before the first blade is inserted, the magician has already gone to work. Hidden in the top of the cabinet is a phony head, which is flipped down into position. From this view inside the box, you can see the magician reach up to release the fake head. From the front, it looks convincing. When the assistant is sliding the blade through what we think is the magician's neck, it's simply passing just beneath this false head. 
Next, we see the girl slide the large blade through the magician's waist. Hidden inside the box is a secret seat that is attached to the back of the cabinet and painted black so it can't be seen from the front. When the doors are closed, the magician sits down on this seat and bends forward, allowing the blade to safely pass just above him. From this angle, we can see that the blade never touches the magician. From the front, it appears as though he's still standing in place because his legs never move. The next secret is that the area above the metal plates is masked by sections of fake pant legs. He flips these into place to disguise the empty space and make it appear as though we are seeing his legs as though he were still standing. Here is the action with the cabinet doors open. The magician sits down on the concealed seat, flips in the fake legs, flips down the fake head, and bends forward to make room for the large blade. The girls reveal the head and then open the doors to show that his body has mysteriously vanished. In order to make it look like the magician is reassembled, the assistant first removes the blades, allowing room for him to sit up, hide the fake legs, flip the phony head back into its compartment, and stand up in preparation for his appearance. An updated version of a classic illusion, and now you know how it's done.